to do a little uh, wing wall. It's going to separate the uh, shower from the toilet and, and have a nice little walkway through here into the shower. And uh, so I'm just going to show you how to do a little wing wall. I've already nailed my base plate down and did a little bit of a layout. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is, uh, and I squared, I squared this off the wall right here. But also, whenever you're working at remodeling, you're going to have the measurements aren't going to be perfect. So what's more critical, I believe, is the distance between here and there, which I made 27 and a half. So it's, we're parallel, these two walls. This wall here is off maybe, oh, an eighth of an inch, three sixteenths. Not bad, but uh, I'd rather be over here than right here. So, all right, the next thing is I got my, I got my measurements figured. We're, going, we're coming out three, in, uh, three foot six inches total and uh, 42 inches tall. So the next step here is to go ahead and level up. That looks pretty good right there. Take our little pea shooter here and go ahead and put some nails in it because what will happen when we get ready to uh, to do the uh, the next piece is going to be short, so if you're going to do any nailing, you want to do it now before you before you cover it all up. Okay. So those are all set well. I used to take my, my little punch right here. Get those things set real good. Okay. And the next one, we're just going to set right in there. And make sure we're lined up straight. A lot of times you can take a uh, you can take a little speed square like this and just make sure your edge is good, good and square. You don't want it to protrude out. Like that. Okay, put yeah. this piece in right here. Flush it up on the edges. Because I use this blocking method like this, you can see my studs are standing up on their own pretty well. And uh, so I'm going to cut, uh, uh, I'm gonna cut one more of this length right here. I'm going to put the last block in, wherever I put it. I don't see it. Well, I'll be right back. Okay, we're continuing with our little pieces right here, lining them up. Now what we've done here, I've got a top piece, I've already got it secured right here, and I, what you do is you take your, take your level, make sure your, make sure your plumb here, which you can see right there, we're out on the money, okay, <clears throat> and then here, you want to make sure you get these plumbed up, and right there is plumb, and what I've done is I've just taken a, uh, right about there, See, I've kind of already done some lines. This one here is a little bit off. Just like that. 
double check it. Not that it's going to do any good now, but that's perfect. All right, pull that over to there. You want to, here's what you want to do. You want to make sure you're flush and, and plumb. Okay. Sometimes it's better to have two people. Here, the last one we just nailed in. You need to plumb it up. You see, you see your line. You needs to go back. There we are. If you're off a of sixteenth of an inch, it's not going to make any difference, really. Uh, we're not building furniture, but I like I like getting them pretty close. Now, I'm going to go ahead and set these nails well. Just like that. Okay. I'm going to put a, I'm going to have a cat piece that's going to be matching the, uh, matching the cabinetry and stuff that's going to go on top of here. That I think you'll like the looks of when we get there. And here, we'll go ahead and line this up. Make sure we get our okay. And then we'll go ahead and pop a couple more in there. That way we'll get some good strength. section right here I want to put a another two by four stud right here on the wall and then a cat piece on it but this piece like that's this small right here if I would try to just shoot that in there and nail it it's probably just going to split it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pre-drill a couple of holes and then just nail it in by hand that will protect it from cracking and uh, so let me go drill that and I'll be right back okay so now I've drilled the holes and I've got my uh, my, my nails and I'll go ahead and nail that in and hopefully we don't split it. Okay, now I'm going to put my end piece on this. Actually, this is the, this is not the end piece. I have another piece that's going on top of this one here. But what I'm going to do, you can see it's kind of I've got a little something off just a little bit there. But I'm just going to take this clamp right here and get it just right. Tighten up just a little bit. Get up there. Okay, now I'll do a little adjustment with the hammer. Straighten that out. Okay. Now I'll go ahead and nail this piece in here. Like that. Take a straight edge. Alright. Clean that up a little bit. I'm going to go ahead. 
ahead and put our cap piece on now. Like that. These are nice little C clamps, or this one is right here. It's wide. So it really will take up the, uh, it'll cover the face of two of these. Used to, you have the small, on the small one, you have to put a uh, lock on it. What I'm going to do on this one right here, is go ahead and, it's hard to buy perfectly good wood. So sometimes what you have to do is clamp them so they stay real tight. And I want a tight fit. So I'm just going to do this and. Get them tightened up and then make sure we're flush. You can always take your square and just square it up. Make sure you're good. Tighten that up. Just like that. Make sure everything's good. I'm liking the way that looks. Let's go ahead and Clamp up a little bit. Like so. It's got a little bit of an arc to it. A little cupping. So that'll help keep it straight. thing is, it's very strong. We've nailed it pretty good. We've got some good blocking. That stuff really makes it rigid. Now there's a few other things you can do. Um, we could actually cut in this in these two bys here and then put a one by four at an angle on a 45. This was pretty solid. Uh, if it was a two by four wall, I'd probably consider doing that. But since it's a two by six, it's pretty pretty solid. But if I feel like I want to change my mind, I can. That's it.